2004 Chevy Impala with a 3800 Series 2. Got a coolant leak down there. There's a uh, small elbow. It's got O-rings on it, and it's leaking. There's also one down below the tensioner over here. Got the coolant jug out, two 10 millimeter bolts, and just lifts out. Fits on that little knobby, and then a 15 millimeter wrench here on the tensioner. Get the belt loose. Like this. So get the belt off. And we get the alternator off here. Looks like a 15 millimeter bolt. So get the alternator off. I'll go from there. You take the cover off. Just turn this uh, counterclockwise, and the whole thing will come off. Let me take this all off right here. We can get to the bracket back there. It looks like a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, this bolt here, this bolt, and one bolt down here, all 15 millimeter. We can just move it out of the way, probably. We'll swing it around a little farther, and we can get to this uh, assembly here. We get the heater hoses off. Be right back. Okay, it looks like there's three bolts holding this uh, assembly on. You can see my socket still on that one that's kind of hidden. And then there's two down there. And we'll probably just carefully uh, the screwdriver, use a screwdriver or pry bar and try and uh, get those uh, fittings out of their housings. And then we'll uh, see about replacing them, replace the O-rings. I've actually just weaseled out the one on the top. And uh, here it is right here, and it's obviously it's broken on both ends and I'll have to uh, dig out the piece that's in the uh, engine. Doesn't seem to be anything in uh, the assembly where the tensioner is, but in the engine there's a piece, so we'll get that out. All right, here's the old and the new one. You see the pieces I dug out. So I'll put a little lubricant on these uh, O-rings and we'll uh, put it all back in place. Okay, I got the new one in place, although I did end up uh, pulling the other one out a little ways so I could get it in there. I realized I could get that one out because of the broken pieces. So, we just carefully wiggled the other end out. Now we've got the new piece in and we're putting it back together. Basically, just reverse procedure to install.